There you go. So we was riding around through and I was going to see that whatever caught on fire oh, it's the one on the end. yesterday. What was this one? This yellow one right here. We did see an ambulance coming down, so praying to God there wasn't nobody in it, you know. Big old church. There's a little park like thing they have. You gotta turn right here. Long in that. They still got their Christmas stuff up. Here is uh, an open company. This is Flora. It's called Grandma's Kitchen. That's Peter Brown. There's downtown Flora. Right. <clears throat> right back here, I think, is where that was. Yeah. We should have turned right there. I don't know what you're talking about. That building that sits off in the corner back there. Oh, it's up here by Dairy Queen. Are you talking about the... It's, it's a museum. Got no clock. One of the old timey clocks. Wonder if we can walk in. Well, it says museum. If you don't care, walk up my ass if we can.
First time I've ever been in this building. <laughs> wow. You'd be, some people, uh, be surprised at the people that like historical things. We get, we get about four tours every week. So it, it's picked up a lot um, since I started. So. Good. Well, it'll be up on the channel tonight, so if you want to watch it, you can. Okay. Uh, do you ever get on YouTube? All the time. Uh, <laughs> John's I, ain't got a, I ain't got a card with me, but it's John's Southern Vlogs. She wrote it down. Okay. She had to write it down to, to make sure that it was okay to do it with her boss. Okay. <clears throat> That's cool. There's also... Um, and, uh, <clears throat> where's the other place at? What? Your followers. Oh, I've got people from Netherlands, Poland, Vietnam. Um, we just had um, a husband and wife that was from the Netherlands just about two or three weeks ago come through. Really? Nice heck out of me, yep. Um, I've got them from, you know, the, um, yeah, Poland. California, Maine. Um, Do we need to sign in? Yeah. Yeah, feel free to sign in. That would be great. Sign in under Joan Southern Vlogs. <laughs> so, the middle picture there, that is the um, architect, uh, John Nichols, or Frank Nichols. Uh -huh. um, he um, constructed the this building now. Okay. Um, the original depot burned down in 1917. And so he's the one that constructed the new one that we are sitting in. Do you know what uh, what year this one was rebuilt? Um, I believe it was finished in about 19, I thought it was in 17, I want to say 18 or 19. Okay. This is of it. Is this somebody it's just... gingerbread. Oh, is it? Um, there's a gentleman in Effingham who he's a doctor, um, and he does different gingerbread houses every year for Christmas. Oh, and oh he did the, uh, that's the cool. Plenty of brochures for you yep. guys to check out. Yep. Um, Should have grabbed the regular camera out where I can mm -hmm. zoom in good. Um, most most places want to promote their place, you know, mm -hmm. so they can get visitors in and yep. everything. So <laughs> this has a lot of the depot history. Um, you know history, uh, floor history with uh, Dr. Foss's corner, um, the school, the Isley, Isley, the time capsule, just a little bit of everything all in this. And then we've got some more driver's cart um, area and general uh, Lewis, uh, Lewis Larson area as well. Okay. What doctor's name is there? Dr. Foss. Dr. Foss. <clears throat> Best. What are, what B and O stands for? B and O? Uh -huh. Baltimore, Ohio. Okay. Is this that reservoir a bridge that they closed down down here? So these are the reservoir pictures. They are the old reservoir 
is if you go down Blue Meal, go down to the very last street and turn back left, back by Public Works. Um, you can't get to it um, by vehicle. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah. I want to go back there. So really? <laughs> I've heard so many stories. Um, I finally got somebody to tell me how to get back there. Um, but you have to walk the rest of the way once you get past the uh, public works building. Yeah. Um, but there's, is this bridge there or is it falling apart? Or, I don't know. Um, I think there's some people that have Wooden boxes, um, pads, wooden houses, septic um, swabs. So I think it's still there. First aid supplies. Medicines that they used back in the day. This is neat, guys. Yeah, um, you'll just go out of the drive here and like you're heading towards Elmwood Cemetery. Mm -hmm. That's Blue Mound Road. You'll go down to the very last street and turn back left, and you'll just keep heading. South east until um, you see like the city works, public works um, building. You'll have to probably park there. It'll say that um, you can't continue back, you know, whatever. Um, you may go to City Hall first and just get permission to yeah, go back yeah. there, um, talk to City Hall. Um, and they'll, they may even tell you a better way to get back there. I haven't talked to anybody from City Hall yet. I'm just people that's seen it that's local that knows what it's at. Sorry guys, some of us got a glare. So, I, I but it's pretty to sunny to out today. I don't know how to get back there and somebody was in here um, that was on the deep up one. And we were like, oh, well, yeah, you have to get out on the street one. I was expecting you to try to hey, buy it. Hey, baby. Yeah. Look, Mother's Dishes. Oh, That's yeah. the blue willows. So I'm still new to learning all the things since um, the original curator. I can I can tell you, like these plates right here, are like sixty seven dollars a piece. Very well, they're one bag. Uh, I bought mother mm -hmm. uh, around seventy pieces, and it cost me around seventy three hundred dollars. So, but now she's got the big platter and. Yeah. You know, everything too, and the, you know, all the cups and things. She'll enjoy seeing this. Um, well, that's that's nice. Our curator, um, they're they were both in their 80s, late 80s, and they ended up moving back in November. Um, so they're the ones that used to do the tours, and now they have to do the tours. But, um, my favorite story that I've camera. learned so far is of that punch bowl down there. Yeah. And the story to, about that is there was a judge from Olney that had business to do here in Clay County. So he took the train, and at the time, the depot had a, a restaurant. So he had lunch here, and he uh, wanted dessert, so he had a pie. And uh, he, he exclaimed, you know, it's the best pie. I, I, I need to meet the cook. I need, you know. Yeah. Um, they're like, well, you can't meet her. It was passed down in their family. For everybody that's married, that was their wedding gift. I wonder what year that was. Um, or does it say on this? It does not it say. Don't say the on story that. is upstairs on the second floor, so I'll take you. Okay. The story is the one that I know the most of, so. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm still learning. This is awesome. Yeah, it's so this one, I'm not so sure on, and I don't like lifting it up. This one does. Have you ever played that? It's very out of tune, but yeah. it does work. I don't play piano. I play uh, organ. I love <laughs> playing piano. I have the little letters on the key, but yeah. That's something I do. I play, I play instruments. I play a lot of things. Old school death. His, mm -hmm. We had did when I was in school. Look at right there. One. Identical. This one's new to the museum. We actually just got this about two weeks ago um, from a local here in Florida. She still had it from, I don't know if it's her school days or she was a teacher or what, but she just gave that to us about two weeks ago. 
Okay, look at these children's outfits, guys. Uh, now that is in period time for sure here as well. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if that wasn't in the 1880s, 1890s. The old fashioned glasses back in there. Oh, look at the old wood stove. Oh my goodness. Mother now is going to enjoy looking at this. We have a lot of people that come that went to her Stanford school. Uh -huh. um, or family members, mothers, grandparents um, that went. And we have all the way from 1923 uh -huh. all the way up to 1972. 32 and then 34 through 37 and 77 and 84. So, the Herder Stanford. Some knowledgeable people. We have a lot of people come in to see if we can find pictures, so. General Lewis B. Parsons. Oh. Uh, time piece there. I wish there wasn't such a glare, but guys. Maybe I can edit it to, to pull it on in. Well, I. You want me to go get the camera? Yeah, please. Just unscrew it. I need the keys. Uh, screw it toward the uh, driver door. We sure God, thank you for letting us do this. Okay. Um, I hadn't been here but a week, so just moved here. And I mean, uh, it's just good to put things like this out, and you know, not only they see that I've been here, they people to want to come and see the same things that I've seen, and you know, it, it's just it's just neat. These are train workers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wonder was that stationed here or the the old? Uh, they were stationed uh, here. Um, Do you know that depot. old bridge I'm talking about? They had the road, the track to run across it. The old one that's toward the well. You know they blocked it off. The now. Reservoir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the picture that's over there. That's the reservoir. Okay. Okay. Um. The railroad house used to set angled from over here, and that's where that picture is taken. Okay. Do you want me to do the phone and you do the camera or vice versa? Uh, no, I'll let, it, I'll let this and go for a little bit and then she's going to show us upstairs. Mm -hmm. So We'll go upstairs and then we'll go past my house. We've got um, the school sports. Um, the story about Punchbowl is over by that speaker to the left. Ball team. We got oil field info or photos, businesses. Sorry for the glare, guys. It's really popular down here. Yep. We usually rent this room out for um, bridal showers, baby showers. We've had weddings that have been reunions. Um, you by extension office, which is on the third floor. They have events for 4-H in here. Um, that's why 1937. They had events last night. 1937. Yep. Check that out. And these were mail clerks? Did the mail travel mm -hmm. here yep. or like Pony Express or yep. just by train? Okay. Yep, that's what the hoops that was down in the Heritage Museum trains would come through. They would oh. take the hoops that used to have a net on it. Right. They'd stick it out and drop the mail drop in it, it or yep. you know, hang, hang letters up where the conductor would grab out. Right, um, yes. Yep. Packages. Mm -hmm. yep. Packages uh, I learned that just 
they're watching westerns, you yeah. know, how they would drop it off like that. Yeah. This is neat. I told you. You're in Clay County. There's no museum. He said, yeah, well, I've seen one. I've seen one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Listville also has the Genealogical Society. And they have one. If you're ever off and would like to, you know, go around with us and see what I do, care what we hear, hey. There's one thing that we went to uh, on Alabama that we had when we were up here, and it was like a playground. Dead children's playground. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. It was so scary, but we got up to the playground and the and there was a little girl that had been hurt really bad. And they were like, Oh, we're not gonna take her home. We're gonna take her back to the hospital and they took um I remember six from our back and they took her to the and they took um I remember six from our back. And a seven. Well, the story goes, they rest in a day and roam at night, but there's usually just as much paranormal in the day as they are at night. You just want to be able to see so you can run onto the car. Sorry for the glare, guys. Oh, my goodness. What is it? There was a baby found in a shoebox with a note. I get really emotional about things like that. Mm -hmm. There's a case that we're Veterans Hall. Make sure you check out that helmet. Okay, I will do. That's bullet holes, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He survived. I'm used to it now. Mm -hmm. 
at first, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yep, I go to the bathroom and come back to go to my office, and I think, well, the only reason I always had the lights off, and I don't leave here till 5, 5.30, it's always usually dark, and I, I find it, you know, it's like, oh, it's just me. Him get his both sides and then I'll show you baby. What is that? Um, like going out of space or? No, this is a pilot. Oh, Air Force. Guys, this is just neat. Each branch is represented here. All real uniforms are not. You know, we didn't have somebody make them or anything. It was all donated by real veterans uh, or their families. Each branch is um, here, as well as, I believe, most of the 19th century, 20th century um, wars. So World War II, Korea, World War II. Mm -hmm. Maybe for a while on the back. Represented that desert storm. And then, you know, it's going to be the Iraq piece, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it with the the phone here. I'm gonna she's gonna show us some more stuff. I'm gonna use the regular camera. Thank you guys for watching. Love every one of you.